Hi everyone, John here. It's Sunday, July 10th. I've had a few people ask me more about the polarizer set that I've uh, that I'm making for the Anon Star ADS M201. Um, anyway, when you order a set, it's going to come in a little package like this, a package of three polarizers, and I want to show you how to install them. So here's your camera. You just simply unscrew the lights one at a time. You pop out this little lens. You insert the smaller polar. These are thin. These are about 0.1 millimeter. Uh, they're a little bit. They may be a little bit bent because uh, they come off of a roll. I laser cut them. Uh, anyway, you just uh, put it between. You just drop it in. It won't. It won't go through the ring. And then you screw it back on. So that's on one LED. And you don't have to screw it all the way tight because you're going to want to rotate it in a second. Here's the other polarizer. Oh, let me explain what a polarizer does. Um, for those of you that don't know, you can rotate them and block all light. Here, let's look up on the uh, monitor. So when they're rotated 90 degrees to each other, they block all light and then they pass. So if we put this one on the uh, up to the lens and the light is coming down, you can rotate it so that the light, when it reflects off of an object, will not bounce back in, into the lens. And I'll demonstrate that in a second. Oh, here's an old polarizer. So yeah, here's taking the second one out. You just drop it into this space. It won't fall through. Put the lens back on. Screw it back in. Sorry, I can't see. Righty tidy. Okay. Now this one, uh, you unscrew the main glass protective lens. This is a thicker polarizer. Make sure it's clean. It comes to you clean. Uh, go ahead and then you screw that on. Now let's look at a look at a polarizer through the camera. Oops, I gotta make sure you can see this. And well that's not a good demonstration. Here's a better demonstration. Here's a circuit board. You can see this light reflecting off of here. So I was pointing right here, it's reflecting right off of there. Um and then pointing at the monitor. Sorry, I'm confusing myself. Pointing at the monitor, you can see this bright light reflecting over here. And you can see bright reflections on the circuit board. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lamp and I'm going to spin it while watching the monitor. So, you can see there are positions where you greatly attenuate and it just turned to a dark blue. So you've attenuated the reflection coming off. And now I'm going to take the other lamp and then we'll look at the monitor again. And I'm attenuating the other reflection. So, once you've done that, everything here is nice and clear. We don't have any direct reflections coming back. And now, from here on out, you can position these up wherever you want. I assume you're using it for soldering, but you might be using it for painting or, or something, or looking at bugs. Um, from now on, if you want to be fully attenuated in reflections or let reflections pass, you can just rotate this one ring under the camera. And so I'll demonstrate that looking at the monitor. As that one ring spins, you can take it to full attenuation or allow reflections. And it's 
just depending on the work that you're doing and whether you want to see a reflection or not. All right, I hope that all makes sense. And again, this is the little pack that I send. Ten bucks for three polarizers. And then uh, in the United States, I'll just do an envelope and a stamp for free. If you're overseas, add another two dollars for, for international mail. All right. Thank you. Bye.